Actually, I was approached by Beth Borgen, and then Beth, Deb Wente, and myself had lunch. And it was probably, when we were talking through everything, it was probably Deb that had the most motivating statement. You won't regret something you've done, it's you'll regret something that you've never tried, that you've feared too much to actually attempt. And it was that statement that I took back, thought through, and decided, you know what, it's for a good cause, let's, let's give this a whirl. So our family has been involved. Uh, I, myself, am an adjunct teacher here. I teach Business 280, which is Excel and PowerPoint in English. Um, my husband is an alumni of Lakeland, and my father-in-law sat on the board for Lakeland College as well. I am, I can't. I, when people say they don't dance, I literally don't. I didn't dance prior to this. So this was a complete un new undertaking. So it's something that was on my bucket list that I wasn't aware that was there. So Okay, when you think about my training and what we've done to get as far as we have, my instructor Jack Ryan and I have been very focused and very dedicated. Knowing that I have two left feet and have never danced, we had to start early. So we got a jump on it in February because I really hadn't danced prior and I knew that and I was very open to learning. So it's been a very focused, dedicated training. Uh, I drive to his studio once a week, he comes to the Plymouth area once a week, and we hit the dancing quite hard. He's very patient. <laughs> the third charity I selected was Sharon S. Richardson, and my husband is actually an employee there, and just the absolute cause and, and the giving and the concern and, and what they do for the community, what they give back to their patients and their families is the reason I selected it. It was Sharon Richardson's dying wish. She made her husband promise that everyone would have an opportunity to, to be able to be treated with such dignity and have such care that she had. All right.